All right, the time is now 507. Talking about change, what a big change from yesterday morning. Oh, yes, it was nice to kind of walk out mm -hmm. the door. I was telling you all in the newsroom and not have to run. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> run to my car, didn't have to turn the heat on full blast. Nonetheless, still cold. Oh, yeah, yes. still chilly out there, but not like the 20s. And this is a little closer to where we should be for any given November. The 20s were way abnormal. This is still a little abnormal. Our average low for Thanksgiving is about 41 or so. We are going to be probably a degree or two shy of that in terms of our actual low temperature this morning, but as things stand now, two days away from Thanksgiving yesterday made it down to 25 before all was said and done. That went down in the record books as low temperature for the day. Didn't quite break a record, still a few degrees away from that, but that was on top of a 30 degree morning on Sunday, 29 on Saturday, 26 on Friday. So certainly a cold stretch of days. Here's a live look over downtown this morning. Temperatures in the 40s as things stand now. They're still going to continue to fall a few more degrees before the sun begins to come up. 42 in Macon, 44 in Warner Robins, 44 in Perry, 45 in Cochran, 50 in Vidalia, and 46 in, in Swainsboro. A few high level clouds out there as well. You go up into northern Georgia, certainly over into Alabama, running into some rainfall that extends back down into Louisiana, Mississippi and back down into the Houston area this morning. You might remember yesterday we had some wintry weather in this area that has since faded away because temperatures are not close to freezing anymore as the winds have shifted down there. So as we head through the day today, a light wind coming out of the northeast. So on and off clouds through the day today. Here we are about the noon hour temperatures back into the 60s. We're going to stay in the 60s this afternoon. I don't think we get into the 70s, but notice the clouds began to build in through the overnight hours and then for tomorrow starting the day with mostly clear skies. But then as we head into the evening, we will see those clouds begin to build in as we get into Thanksgiving morning. So here we are at about 7 a.m. Completely dry across the area. Temperatures similar to this morning for your Thanksgiving morning as you're watching the parade. And then once we get into the evening and Enjoying Thanksgiving dinner dry across central Georgia, but that's going to change as we get into Friday night and into our Thursday night and into Friday. So here we go with the long range models. This is 6 a.m. on Friday. The Euro pulling a lot of rain into central Georgia. The GFS still has it lagging behind the state line here to play this forward. GFS tries to pull it through Friday night and into Saturday. And there we go. And then another round into Saturday night into Sunday. So the timing, we're still trying to line up here, but we have a very good chance of rain as we head through the weekend. As things stand now, we've got a 30% chance of rain late in the day on Thanksgiving, talking about after dinner, after sunset, and then for Friday and Saturday, an 80% chance of rain both days. Now, for central Georgia, talking about a high temperature of 66 after a morning low of 46, and the forecast is for the rain to hold off until the nighttime hours on Thanksgiving. And of course, with Thanksgiving this week, if you're thinking about putting up the lights, we've got a green light for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Certainly go for it. The weather will be pretty nice across central Georgia. Today, look for a high temperature right around 64, mostly cloudy skies as the clouds will be building in through the day. Sunrise is at 711, and here's your seven-day forecast. Yeah, 69 on Wednesday. Certainly a turn around from the 20 something we saw yesterday and then here comes the rain chances for the end of the week 80% for Friday for, and for Saturday.